So what I'm thinking here is I build the stupid altar of earth, buy and upgrade everything tomorrow. It means thingy's in the water for an extra day that she needs to be. She has to just sit there for a day. The alternative is to hire a hero to get in a boat today, surely. And then there's this question here, getting her, getting her going. We don't really want to waste her time either. I feel like actually this theory that this is a, a thing up here that goes on is 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 worth worrying about, is worth hedging and being scared of. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm feeling like maybe. Alamar comes back with the loins and we wait a day here to really trigger all this and get these people moving. Um, because if you think about it, we, we want to be waiting outside here as well. Yeah, let's just we're just going to be a bit conservative up here. Here are the loins. Right. Valeska waits for these. And this guy doesn't do anything crazy. He just gets himself back down here. We just reconsolidate in that area. We don't worry too much about the loss of momentum. Meanwhile, up here, we could buy the Earth Elementals. What does it cost to upgrade? Sorry, let me check. Okay, hang on. Right, right, right. So we're on 16k tomorrow. Goes down to 14. The Elementals themselves cost money. This costs 11. There's not enough money for us to build the altar, upgrade it tomorrow, and buy everything. Um, which means that an alternative to all this is to let her go now and get started. And then he can summon a boat. <laughs> he can try. You can try again. <laughs> to summon a boat. Uh, oh, I could buy one. I don't really want to have to buy one. We just dump what we've got here. Worry about them later. That's probably such a... Okay, so there it is. Five sulfur is not a problem. Oh, it's, it's a doddle to upgrade. Yeah, so you're going to wait here. You're going to bring... We're not buying these. All these, and we're not buying any earth elementals at all. We're going to spend all our money on the troops she already has. Then she's going to land, she's going to beat these Nagas, go underground, and do all the stuff that looks like it's down here. Um, that's okay. Yeah, I think it's alright. Tan does some stuff, green goes here. Orange's turn seemed very short. So, I don't know, maybe they're already dead? Um, we're focusing here, so the Rampart crew are going to have a whole turn off to facilitate this. Want these? Obviously I want these. these. So there's only 3k left in the coffer. Three K would let Valeska buy the elves, give them to the warlock, and then start a movement, which is good for her. She could pick the unicorns up on the way, or she could stand outside the unicorn thing with three thousand bucks. Seems good, right? So there's thirteen of these guys waiting for us now, and that'll that'll then become like twenty magma elementals, which is beef. Like that's enough beef to to be beefy. So we're going to give you this, and then I'm going to wait until I've got enough money to do that. Bring them back up. Stop here. Yeah. Seems fine. So... 
Lebitha. Just even things out a little bit. Loose formation. Um, okay. Alright, well. She's, uh. She's gonna make waves, this girl. I'll tell you that much. Dessa might try and take on the Nagas, actually, and try and beat me down there. We'll see. See what he wants to do. I'm quite happy to fight him. I'm always tempted to put the shackles on in case he's stupid enough to attack me. Would he be stupid enough to attack me? Surely not. Like, I'm going to annihilate you, Dessa. Doesn't know how good I am at casting spells. He doesn't know my attack and defense and all that. No, he won't fight me. He won't fight me. He's going to run for it. He's going to come down here or something. I don't want to put the shackles on in case someone comes flying down here. It just ends my run. <laughs> all right. Elves. Would I? Yes. Definitely. Now that should have beefed up that. That would have been 12. Loins of Legion, additional 4. How good is that? Look at that, they're all there waiting for me. Take these guys. Give me them, and give me that. I'll be back to you really soon with more elves. I'll go to here. I'm not going to be able to buy them though. How far can I get to here? The Galar could do this job. Do you know Scholar? You can't teach him anything? No. Take the stuff. I'll have the harpies. You keep moving. Wait here for the unicorns. Uh, so Alamar's either got to go get the dendroids or... No, I don't think so though, right? We're just going to buy the elves. Upgrade the other elves and then that's it. Yep. Okay, so that's that. These guys need to start just not being part of the game. Pretty cheap. We're building up actually some centaurs and dwarfs as well, it could be relevant. Anyway, we're waiting here till next turn. I'm gonna come around and bring you even more elves. Alright, what's gonna happen? Green Dessa? What's it gonna be? Oh, tan and blue are fighting. What did I call it or did I call it? Cannot possibly stand against me. I really, really want that back, but I got 71 sulfur and blue. Oh my god. Well, can I not get to this just by galloping down here? Oh, it's because of the Nagas. Okay. Um, a pack of Nagas. Worth it? Deadly. They are deadly. No enemy retaliation on either of them. 110 hit points each. 16 and 13. I am 12 and 13. 19, 20 though, up here. I'm much, much more. Yep. So, morale is a real scary one. Um, best way around it isn't sorrow though, it's to just do this. Because uh, even if morale happens, she's still slower than she would have been. She's, she's still one hex slower. Slow is so good ex at expert level, because look how ha heavy that's hit them. They've got three moves, and it hits both units. Uh, so we are... There's no point waiting, because she's not even going to walk into range on turn one. Um, yeah, there's no logic to... 
Holding fire. Might as well just shoot. Wow, that's pretty good damage. Yeah, it's a pretty easy fight in the end. Um, arrogant? Probably too arrogant. There's no morale. Do these even have morale? They do. Okay. Uh, oof. Wow, good hits. Could have waited. Should have waited. I suppose technically. There's one. It's not gonna matter. All right, now sure. So the next round, I get to attack with everyone. Great. Too much? For plus one attack, it's not. Plus one attack, plus one attack. Waste my turn. Oh, this is so much on the... Oh, man. She loses so much on the swamp, it's unbelievable, even with really fast troops. You would think that an ice elemental could slither through the swamp. Sprites can fly over it, the air elemental can fly over it. So what is it, just Labitha herself, she's just a real slow, like a slow coach. Alright, we're investing here now. Let's do the things we definitely, definitely want to do first. Um, so here's my idea. <coughs> Dendroid archers. So dendroid guards. This is plus one movement from plus from three movement to four movement. I think it's better to do this than it is to buy all of these. Okay, so we miss out on three. Um, but I think that's. I think these guys. Eleven of these is enough to matter. And I'll reinforce um, as well. Oh, now I don't have enough for the unicorns though. Damn. Just, um, this is a bit pernickety, but just to save on moves. So Alamar learned some stuff there. Do this, do this. Can I keep the loins? The last seems too good to be a messenger hero, but anyway. Um, so this gives knowledge and power plus three. And she is wearing just this conjuring thing. Like, what if she had plus five knowledge and power instead? Then she could cast... Uh, it's probably just going to be okay. I'll keep this. I'll, 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 I'll bank on this guy getting to level ten somehow. It's, I think it's a bit fanciful. I'm not sure it's going to work now. A bit of a strange looking army, isn't it? Finally, do this. It's down in the south. Oh, hey, we're in the southeast. That just occurred to me. Um, maybe this matters. Ooh, do we know where this is? Some rocks and a bump. No. So. <laughs> oh. All my plotting and planning, it's like, ooh, yeah, no, that's that, that's not a thing. So we'll reveal a bit more here. What can we see? Sulfur boots and free spell power. Can live without that. I mean, I don't. Pack of champions. I feel like they have movement twelve. Might be movement eleven. But if they move per first, they get a huge charge bonus. They charge across the battlefield and kill like forty elves. I'm going to feel so sad. Alright, well now I might as well go to this defensive thing. He still can't, he still can't do his thing. Yeah, no, okay, let's just see what happens. Come back to the beef. Uh, yes, okay. Blue, blue, blue. Blue is trying to retake the town. I think I have to let that go. I've got 70 mercury. I can't afford to gallop down there. Um, Gernison, maybe Fior could come over and um, mop this up for me. Alright, this is what we came here to do. Let's have a look. What we got? Ring of Infinite Gems, guarded by dickheads. Okay. 
Let's take these on. I don't know if this... Okay, I am acting first. They have speed 8, so that's hilarious. And the game's already over, before it's begun. If you are if you have the fastest troops and experts slow, and you're up against uh, someone, something that isn't a hero... So hard for them. So it's just the same as the Nagas, and these are going to go down so easily. Watch how many of these die. Oh. Brutal. Hey! So what gives? Why not? Get them out of their misery. Twelve twenty, decent. There it is. I think that's better than air. Although I have air elementals. Until she goes and learns thinking. With expert scholar, I can learn all resurrection. I'm just, I'm just taking this. I, I might not get a chance to do that again for a while. I'm taking it. Uh, we've got lots of Cerberi, I didn't actually see that. They're guarding a dragon utopia. Magog's guarding a thing I don't want to attack. A horde of fire elementals. So the Cerberi are going to be slower, I think, than me. And I get to do the same fight again that I just did. Um, there's room for two here. There's a prisoner here, it looks like I can get to. This area looks easier. I, I'm gonna go free the hero. Yes. Do I still want to slow? Pathetic. Useless. Moralis more. Oh. No. No, I'm good. Joke. Walking joke. Look at you. Pathetic. Got yourself a fire elemental. Pile of ash on the ground. Pathetic. Useless. Like I'm embarrassed for you. A cry of pain leads you to a centaur caught in a trap. Upon setting the creature free, he hands you a small pouch, emptying the contents. You find a dazzling jeweled ring. The Ring of Infinite Gems. Excellent. Really good for us. Um, because we don't have that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I want to beeline this prisoner. Pack of War Unicorns, definitely doable. Are we faster than more Unicorns? Speed 9? Feels like maybe we aren't. How fast are the other Unicorns we've got? These ones. How fast are they? Speed 7, so is a War Unicorn speed 8 or 9? I think it's 9. And if it's 9, it means we will go first. Even if they do go first, I could blind them and mess with them. I'm getting this. I'm, I'm rescuing that prisoner. Uh, look, what's going on down here? Valeska's getting ready to explore that area. We were going to buy unicorns, weren't we? So let's do that. You've got nothing, so come on up here. Now that we know it's safe, in this area at least anyway, is safe. Grab the unicorns. Go here. I don't... I mean, I'm not ready for the utopia, so there's no point. Gold golems can sometimes be... Diamond golems and gold golems can be... an issue. Um... Imp cache. I might leave that for... Oh! Oh, there's another unicorn glade there. There's one here and one here. Oh, that changes my mind a bit. Pack of champions. I do think I need to look it up. I mean, they're certainly faster than my 
speed 7. What's my fastest thing? The fastest thing I have is speed 7. The question is, can they reach me in one turn? Champions have speed 9. I think the reason I thought they were 11 and stuff is because usually when you use champions you have... Um, you know, you're fighting on grass... Uh, or you have whatever other buffs and they end up at, at speed 11. I'm sure there's probably f games I've played in the, in the past where they've ha effectively had speed 11. These guys won't. They'll have speed 9. And as a result, I think with this existing layout, I'm good to just go. I am going to have two stacks. I, I'm, 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 I'm alright. I don't need to worry. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. Oh, they could get morale, though. Do they have positive morale? <laughs> they might have positive morale. No morale. How many? How many? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Don't you dare. Oh. Nine grand elves, nine. I didn't think about morale. I still would have gone for it though, wouldn't I? Oh, all right. Um, unicorns and dendroid soldiers can kill this, I think. Oh my god, these guys are so much more scary than I had. I'll have. I could kill him with this. Two seventy to four fifty, so I can. Yeah, I can just kill this stack. This guy then moves to here. The unicorns move to here. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I could wait with the unicorns. Um, wait. Murder? First degree murder. Very good. Do nothing. Uh, unicorns. You're still going to be blind tomorrow. If I'm wrong about that, I hate my life. She has power three? Okay, so yeah. So if I fire, he wakes up and... Uh, if I fire now, he wakes up. I mean, it says here he's not going to. But she's only... Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. This is the Conjurer Woman. Sorry. Wasted everyone's time there. She, her spell durations are, like, 50. Right. All of you people, do nothing. Do nothing. That's murder. Right. It's just... You're, you're not coming back from that. So he woke up. He woke up, but he didn't get... It. No. Sorry, I must remember that. Yeah, duration is infinite, basically. Nine elves died to morale. Totally sucks. Um, I'll put these on. Absolutely. Yes, please. Really, really good. Galar's going to want a piece of that. Now, having Galar hit here... Oh, he's out of moves. I was going to say he could grab the army, go do the implication. You know, we could start levelling him up that way. He's like a junior understudy or something. Um, now's the time to go get these... And I could pop down to the windmill. Might do that too. Now you can finally buy these. Um, and you can go here. Great. Great, great, great. Never underestimate the value of the incidental weekly visits, like how important it is to hit them. We actually haven't had many. We've just only had this one and, the win and that windmill. Um... Tons. I only have two grand um, up my sleeve. I'm not going to spend it. Badge of courage. Prison. It's a good area. It's better than the portals because we already know that other heroes have been through those portals where we killed the Nagas, so we're the first ones down here. So Normally I'd be really trying to rush Fior into getting over here with some kind of army, but we're obviously freeing the prisoner, so... Um, I think that probably matters more. 
I think I want to look up here. It should jump around anyway and show me what the enemies are doing. Here we go. Okay, red's back in force. Blue is still fighting for its survival. I can't tell if it's fighting Tan or if Tan captured the city and then died. Might be worth a quick look. One thing we could do... Yeah, okay, so Blue is still very much alive. And that is three weeks worth of dudes. Like, that's... We probably need to prepare for a comeback from Blue. Uh, although I'm glad Tan messed with them. Red, meanwhile, have shown up with a ragtag bunch, haven't they? Look at that! Elementals, Stronghold, <laughs> Dungeon... So the Behemoth... Harpies, they're not going to have very good morale. Then you've got your standard army, which looks exactly the same as the one that beat me before. That's the same hero that beat me before as well. So we could put the shackles on and come and ruin their day. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Both of these heroes look very killable for Labitha. Speed 9. But I go first because I'm the player. I've got speed 9 as well. Um, obviously, morale is our same old problem. The cheapest way to deal with this is slow. And then if a morale flash happens, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Sorrow is extremely narrow application. Um, spread the love around a bit. Oh, she's gonna wait anyway though, so just wait. Wait, wait, wait. Bring it. That was an unnecessary risk I just took, I realised. And actually this guy could. Mm. Yeah, if he'd gotten morale. If those five unicorns had gotten morale, one, two, three, four would have just missed actually. Okay. Ugh. Small mistakes can absolutely destroy you. I love logistics. But I'm the town portal queen. Still taking it. I, I just don't think you can ever not take it. It's just so good. Give me the badge. Teach me. What do I not, What do I want to be better at? Knowledge. Knowledge just keeps ratcheting up the old town portal. I'll worry about it on the way back. Who are you? Let's see who we've got. A dazzling display of daring. Once again, we free. We break into the local jail and free the hero, who in return pledges loyalty to your cause. It is none other than, drumroll, a troglodyte, who probably doesn't know spells, if I recall correctly. His name is Shakti. He's the king of the troglodytes. He's level five? This is not a... This Shakti, you are not what I wanted. Pathfinding? Pathfinding. And I've got these awkward 70 troglodytes I don't know what I'm going to do with. Ugh. That's, that's, that's a letdown. He's, he's not... He's, he's bad. He's not good. We can't really use this hero. He doesn't synergize with our people in any way. He knows no spells. Ugh. Labitha's there standing looking at him like this slimy pile of... Like, what even are you? Who are these 78 of you? 68 of you? Why were you in prison? Who... <laughs> They're probably all slimy. Labitha's like, ugh. I don't want to interact with him. I can't teach him anything. I don't want the trogs. I don't want to give him any sprites to make him faster because then I'm giving up 68 trogs doesn't seem good uh, you can get that for me I'll go here so I'm on 180 maximum I go to 200 here or I can take the spell power which is better for ice bolt and she kind of wants both I actually take knowledge um, so this is lots of zombies. Seems a shame to waste her on this. These errands are not really worthy of her. 
and I do want to pop my head out here. So now that I've got someone down here, Shakti, pff, um, we can use him to scout, um, even though he's slower than Labitha. Another hero! Lots of battle dwarves down here. You can come down here, Labitha. We'll try and get... Um, rewards, the quest rewards, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so, she is going to go for the spell points. Why not? This will be guarded by some unicorns. Won't make that mistake again. So... Why guard it? Join me! You fool! No wishing wells nearby. I've already burnt some mana. I'd have no mysticism, so I'm just going to take a risk. Two is good. Oh. No, what happened? Did they just wait? Oh, okay, you got dead. Right. So the morale didn't happen. I never uh, actually um, re readjusted my elves. I like the two stacks though. I think that's. I think that's okay. So I'm thinking of leaving that for Galar, and maybe letting him get some experience off that. Are you serious? That's all that's here? Wow. So Solmir, I had it in my head, Solmir had all this stuff up here he was doing. He was just hanging out, not... Okay, maybe he went to the imp cage. We have to maybe that's been deserted for some time, kind of thing. Disappointed. Disappointed in you, Solmir. <laughs> to use the army and get Valeska back to civilization. He's doing this job. So we really are being left alone nicely at the moment. Um, yeah, Valeska's been through all of that already. Come back up here. You're going to do this, but before you do that, you've got to do this. Mm hmm. Come on back. All clicking together pretty nicely here. You can see what red does here. Let's have a look. Medusa stores. Yeah, there's nothing here for you. So blue is on the ascendancy. Here comes blue. Another big fright fight brewing, I perceive. I think this army and Isra... See, Solmir is dead. You have to use Isra. He's going to come down south trying to get revenge. We're going to Grand Elf him to death. As and when that happens, we want to free the prisoner. Uh, I want to do a lot of things here. Can't get to you today. I don't think. There's no way, no. But I like this idea of... Um... I like this idea of just cleaning this area up. Letting one of the other heroes get the stuff. Lots of Minotaur Kings. Come back down here, go boom, boom. Do I want to give Shakti the experience? I don't really want to give, let him have it, but it would make more sense to, for her to do this. Grab the things herself, come back out. Give Shakti the army. Shakti does these things. Like, okay. And maybe I'm being troglodytist. I'm discriminating against Jack D, really. I'm not being fair to him. Dragonfly Hive. Yeah, we just have an army that doesn't want to do the Dragonfly Hive. Um, happy to do this and take the experience, though, right, with Labitha. So just slow again is going to really ruin your day. Are you Minotaur Kings or Minotaur I see any movement four? I don't even know why I'm waiting. You can't move in your range. You've got no hope. I love these guys. These guys are so strong. They're such a great unit. Minotaur King. Um, okay. Well, this is a bit scary. 
uh, do nothing. Wait, 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 wait. You don't have movement eight, do you? I should have checked that. Yeah, yeah, no. Movement four, so you were never going to get there. Um, both of you have movement to get to me now, so you need to die. Is that going to happen? Yes, it is. Guys keep getting lucky. <laughs> I wish I knew what it is that's actually doing. Take the XP this time, I think, will be there. Um Alright. Here goes dumb, dumb. Dum dum. I think she needs to come to here to make that work. Alright. Do not look upon my face, you filthy cur, Shakti. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. Take this badge of courage. Ugh. Probably give it back to where it's all sticky. I'll mind these 68 disgusting creatures for you. Shakti goes and does the job. Frees the prisoner. Yeah, this is okay. May as well. Oh, yeah. Let's just not bother. May as well give him the experience, I suppose. You would think that when you find yourself hiring heroes or freeing heroes that are just completely not aligned at all to your um, thing, that there would be some sort of penalty. Like, there's no. That's one thing about the game I just wish was a bit different that she will lead the troglodytes with just as much capability as, let's say, a warlock. Actually, we have a warlock, that guy there, Alamar. The two of them would lead the troglodytes exactly just as professionally as each other. And it just feels like... It would be better if there was some um, meaningfulness between the what hero you've got and what... And so the sprites are taking orders from a troglodyte. Uh, and in fact... You know, in fact, at 7-6... Well, all right, but you know what I mean. Just feels a bit, bit jarring. All right, lots of battle dwarfs will go down. Give me the experience. Go on. Let's just start. You can't get to me with morale. Good old dwarfs. Oh. Oh. Fellas never stood a chance. Feel a bit, feel a bit mean, really. Basic wisdom could be useful, I suppose. Uh, I guess I'll just take tactics. Um, this is really our priority. Uh, yet another dazzling display. Let's see who we get. Yet another drum roll. Don't be a level five. Actually, you know what? The one I really don't want is a Necropolis hero. That would be... They're the ones where I'm raising all these skeletons and stuff. It's just so jarring. It doesn't work with my strategy. Sir Mullock. Oh, this guy. Yeah, this goes well. Okay, good. See? These guys are friends. That makes sense. Sir Mullock is the speedy guy. Yeah, this guy. This guy. That is broken. That ability is absolutely unreal. All creatures, all his creatures on the field receive plus two. Not fair. Not fair in the early game, not fair in the mid game, not fair in the late game. Because if, if you've got level seven upgraded creatures, and so does your opponent, 
well guess what, going first is still going to be absolutely fantastic for you. Like it's still going to be awesome. Okay, leadership is, yeah, but that plus two, if uh, that should be plus one. It feels like it's too good, Sir Mullock. Is it just me or does Sir Mullock look like a photo of someone? Whereas this looks like, this is more of a, a painting, like a caricature of someone. Whereas that looks more like just a draw, like kind of a rendering of a photo or something. I don't know, that's just me. Maybe I'm crazy. So Mullock, much more exciting character. Having said that, I just realised he's level 1? What? I thought they always came out level 10. Well, I don't want to invest him if he's level 1. I'm going to get excited about him. Now, he does have movement, though, which is good. Who? The sprites? Uh, I still get the experience, yeah. This will work, I'll just kill them. Feel bad, but whatever. The likes will die. Nine? There's nine of them? With movement six, that's slower than me. Oh, you would think. Why do they move so slowly? Um. So I don't know how that'll go. I think both of these will attack. Alright, let's go. Let's just see what happens here. They go third. <laughs> it's pretty impressive, Shakti, I must say. I don't want to hire any. 